Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one, and we are back in here. I do believe I have just drank and eat, eaten. Um, Alright, so, um, I made a couple of minor changes. I'm going to show you those real quick. Uh, so first off, um, I want to show you this back here. So I put a tank up here, right? Now this tank is brown, obviously, so it feeds just into here. And what that allowed me to do was to take the entire um, contents of my big nitrogen tank back there, dump all of it into that tank over there, which is then, you know, all of the mixed gases, which also allowed me to completely clean out the nitrogen line. Um, and so now we should have 100% pure uh, nitrogen in here once again. So there we go. So nitrogen is now completely cleaned out. We're back up to 2.2-ish megapascals in there, so that's pretty good. Um, additionally, uh, another thing that I did is I updated my rocket coding. Um, so there was an issue in that... Uh, And I actually launched and lost another rocket, but that's what allowed me to see what was actually going on. So let me show you real quick. And I think that was this one. Yeah. All right. So we'll take this out for now. Take a look at this. Okay. So we had this, our fuel min, right? And then I made a new one called our fuel min emergency. So, and then uh, originally our fuel min was 500, and that was when it would call back. Um, so now I have 750 is when it's going to call back, and then the emergency is a second chance for it to go into mode 5, which then brings it back to the planet. And then that's just added in here with an extra line of code. So, um, let's see. Yeah, so this is just prevents the looping, whatever. So, branch if less than our fuel. So if our fuel is less than 500, this is our emergency loop. Um, and we want this one to go first because it's the one that we need to work absolutely, right? And then we have this one over here, branch if less than our fuel, our fuel min, which is the 750, which is the one that will hit first. Because as the fuel goes down, right? Let's say that we're at 800, like none of these will go through, right? If it goes under 750, it'll still bypass this one, but it will go to this one and go into our emergency. And the issue uh, that was happening, because um, I was watching it as it happened, is if I run or if I drop below uh, the cutoff fuel here as I'm transitioning to like the next place to mine, so if I'm forcing it to go from mode 4 to mode 2, which is to move to a new place, right? And then at that same exact time, um, the fuel drops below 500, it gets stuck, right? So it'll go through the mode two first, and then because it's already gone through there, um, and I don't I don't know why this doesn't catch it again though, or unless it's like, because I mean everything's jumping back to main, right? So it should be going through here again. So I don't know why exactly this didn't catch it, um, but maybe it's just an issue with the uh, the automation module in that it doesn't like getting multiple mode value changes like immediately after each other so like it would go here and it would send the activate code mode 2 right which would then tell it to move but then as it's doing this um, so they would go here and then it would tell the activate to go back to zero and honestly I probably should put that back uh, where's the emergency yeah so this one should probably also let me just add that in here. Auto mod activate zero. Okay, so now that's just gonna reset the code or reset the activation thing within the automation module. So that way, hopefully, if I try to send, because I think that's that's what happened, right? Is I tried to send this at the same time it was sending this. And so when this one went through, the very next iteration, it probably hit this, but the automation module couldn't take that because it was still trying to process this, which means that it bypassed this. And then every time that it would go through here, it's trying to go through here, but because this already set the activate, but the automation module didn't pick up on it, you're trying to send um, 
another five to something that's already set to five. So it's not registering the change, which means that the automation module isn't actually gonna catch it and change the mode to five. So by doing this and by doing this, um, we should absolutely catch it this time. So we're gonna confirm this and then we're gonna export this and then that can go into there and then we should be good to go. So hopefully that fixes it. And uh, I think I, like I think this is like kilopascals of fuel, right? So this is 408 kilopascals is what's in there. Cause I had like three, little over three megapascals of fuel. And then through sending it on a couple of trips, I think that was like 4.5 megapascals of total fuel that I used. Um, my fuel dropped quite a bit, right? So that's not great. So we'll just continue mixing that, I guess. Um, we could probably use some more hydrogen in here, but I don't know if I have... Yeah, I don't. Okay, so that's got to finish going through there, unless there is no oxygen in there, in which case we would be all right. Looks like it's just nitrogen in there. Okay, so I can send in uh, quite a bit of fuel here. And then if I turn this on, that'll just kind of add to it. So, and this is set to four, yep, okay, turn that on. So that should be adding in four, unless we're out of, we're probably out of uh, hydrogen. That's probably why it got left open. Okay, so, I mean, it's fine, right? So that gives us, uh, is that not adding anything in there? Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. That's going directly into there. Okay, yeah, so then we can just leave that open. And that should just, you know, keep going in there. Okay, I forgot that I didn't have the hydrogen going directly into here. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it for the hydrogen that we've got. Uh, so that means that I need to send the rocket back out there. And then also, because the nitrogen is now pure again, I can refill up uh, in there to, you know, keep everything where it needs to be. Um, okay, and then how are you doing? You're doing all right. All right, and then I have this turned off right now, so everything will just kind of get stored up in here, and I can even turn that off. Um, okay, so we'll do, I don't know, like another 3,000 fuel or something. Okay, and that is 3,000, so we'll send that off. Um, it should be fine, uh, it should come back on its own now. Um, I think the coding is hopefully good to go now. But I mean, we'll, <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, so now that I got that sort of kind of working, um, I'm gonna flood the room with some nitrogen and I can turn that back on, I guess. So let's flood. And then once it's it's flooded, then we'll turn on this one, which is a lot slower, and we can get it exactly to 50. And if you hear something in the background, that's the one of the neighbors mowing their lawn. Okay, so that's 30, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I'm watching the external on the bottom right part of the screen right now. So 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay. All right, now that is going to equalize, and then it should drop down. Maybe it won't. Maybe it equalized too quickly. Um, okay, and then we'll just uh, leave that on, and that should bring us to... Actually, I could bring that down just a little tiny bit. There we go. That'll give that something to do, and we should keep it at uh, 50 pretty much exactly. All right, so that can turn off for now. Make sure that's closed. Yep, okay, good. All right, so that's fun. Um, 
Let's go and check on the status of the rocket. Okay, we're at 1915, it's moving to the next location. So that's mode two is moving to the next location. Uh, I kind of want to change this up a little bit. Mine bubbles. Confirm. There, now it's all kind of the same, nearly the same size. Now, with the change that we made, it should be coming back once we hit 750 fuel. And then if we happen to be transitioning our mode at the same time that we hit the 750, um, it'll kick, well, if the 750 doesn't catch it again, it'll kick again at the 500 uh, fuel point. And if that doesn't catch it, then I don't know what to do. But yeah, so it's it's not perfect yet. Um, I mean, hopefully it's it's good enough which in my book is basically perfect. So yeah, so now we're moving again. Yeah, and so when we hit this mode right here, um, and another thing is we're not writing to the mode, right? We're writing to activation and activation will hold whatever value you put in there last which is why if I'm going to put in a five to tell it to return, I have to immediately tell it to go back to zero. So that way if I have to throw another five into the activation because you know we're low on fuel or whatever, um, it will go from a zero back to a five, which will trigger the automation module to realize that there's a change there. Whereas if I didn't, yeah, you see how quickly this is shifting back and forth? But yeah, so it's, the automation module doesn't pick up the changes in the activation immediately, um, and especially not like quick, I don't know, what's the word? Uh, it's not concessive? No, that's, I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, yeah, so now we're at five, so we did catch it at 750 and it is coming back. All right, good to go. Perfect. All right, so now we're here. I could have just left that open, but it's fine. So now that should, there we go. Start transferring everything over and then it'll go directly into there and then we can then sort it at some point. All right, and then we'll take a look in here I uh, made a couple of changes in here as well. So first thing uh, I'll have you notice is that we have a line up there, okay? And then also we have all of this. So here's our wheat. Wheat's looking pretty good. Uh, so we grew wheat. Uh, we have these. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but we've got all of this hooked up as well. So I just have to update this um, to add in whatever these are going to be. And then this right here also has room for a Harvey. And this might be like ferns or something that I'll put in there, like in between. So I can put like another one in there. So the ferns will mark sort of like the separation between one part to another part. Um, and I think that'll I think that'll work. And then ferns are, yeah, they're over there. So, and then I could grow some corn, I suppose. Uh, mushrooms, I think are doing well. I don't know if they're grown yet. Uh, Okay, so we have some that are seeded. Actually, a lot of them are seeded. All of them are seeded? All of them are seeded, okay. Okay, so there is our mushrooms, and then we're gonna get just a ton of mushrooms out of this. Now, the mushrooms are going to be 100% uh, manual, uh, for now at least. Okay, so there's a stack of 20. That's cool. Okay, and then I'll just replant the mushrooms here. Because these are taking the, uh, the oxygen that the other plants are making, and it's turning it back into carbon dioxide. So it's just kind of like feeding the plants, I guess. Then we have four mushrooms left over, so that can go in there. 
Um, you know what I could do? I could just throw all of these seeds in there too. And then when I need them, I can just, you know, pull them out from the front here. Plus it gives me like more stuff to look for. Okay, so that is, we have four mushrooms in here. We have 10 potatoes there. We have another 20 potatoes there. So that's pretty much max stack for that. And then we have all of our seeds. Uh, in case I need them, they're here being stored. So, yeah, I think that'll work. All right, and then this guy is grown up. Good. Um, let me take a look at the... Uh... Okay, so... Ooh, we're actually l dropping down on nitrogen. Interesting. That should be at 50%. So our oxygen is very high, which is why we need all the mushrooms up there. Because that'll take the oxygen and turn it back into CO2, but I think some of these are using nitrogen, so that's going to have to be uh, replenished as well. And now that this is purified, I should be able to mix this again. Um, and this is set to, what is it, 90? 70? 90? Okay. So then we can start mixing this, mixing that. And then that'll just keep on pumping out stuff. So that will should give us a little bit of food um, for the plants. And then, uh, yeah, should be good. OK, so um, yeah, then we got our battery situation uh, settled here. So we're actually looking pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, this works to charge everything, right? So I know you can't really see it. But if you look back there, that switch is on now. And uh, now it's off, so that does work. Um, yeah, this is working to keep everything cool, and this is working to keep the uh, the water um, at the same temperature as the room in here, which is good. Uh, this whole thing uh, I don't really need anymore. The eggs I don't even know what to do with this. It's got just nastiness in here. Blah. Gross. Decayed food. But I think I can recycle this stuff. I think. Or throw it in the furnace, maybe, and then turn it into coal or some shit. I don't know. OK, so that's doing something. Oh, did I just put the entire carton in there? I did, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, so that's got silicon. Interesting. All right, and then this can go up into there. Okay, so that does have some biomass in there now. So that's one thing that I don't have uh, any way of really separating out is biomass. Now, biomass would also probably fall under coal because, I mean, I think you can burn that. But, I don't know, it's it's fine. I can set up like another mini centrifuge or something somewhere. Do I have one? Uh, I do not, okay. And then uh, the other thing i got to show you guys is this. So we've got some of these up here. And these are the heavy, <clears throat> these are the heavy ones. So they won't take any damage in a storm. And then they just add a little bit of extra, extra juice here. And then, um, yeah, so because, like these especially, because there's obviously roof there, um, ceiling, whatever you want to call it, um, there's no need for these to not be here because they're not blocking anything. I mean, if I put it out here, you're blocking the sun from getting in, right? But over here, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that is the greenhouse coming along. Um, let's see. We're at 16%. Okay, and then also up here, this is another thing that I tried getting to work, but apparently this furnace requires an atmosphere and a specific temperature just to work. So um, 
I saw that and it's like, eh, how do, how do, how do I want to do this? So, I mean, I don't, I don't really understand how I'm going to do this, but we have our exhaust and our input over here. Um, I don't have them painted yet, but they will be there. And also, what is this message that I got on my phone? Probably nothing. No, it's nothing. Okay. Spam. I get a lot of spam. I don't know why. Okay, so let's see. What else is there to do? Um, I still have to finish up this room. I still haven't done that yet. Like, There's like not even any glass in here yet. So, I mean, I've got glass there, but not in any of these things. So, I mean, I could do that, I suppose, right? Uh, glass. There we go. I don't know, do I put up more walls? I mean, like, what, 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 what do I want to do here? I don't know. I don't know. Sir, I need you. Okay, so let's, and then we want this to go on the outside here, right? Yeah. And then we'll put one, oh, that's on the inside? Ew. okay. So that can go there, that can go there. Swap out these guys. Okay. So I was kind of hoping to like use this room because it's gonna heat up a lot, right? Um, as sort of like a potential store of heat or something. And then the other thing that I did is I turned this off. So at least I thought I turned it off. Oh wait, no, 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 I turned the actual, those things off. So I thought it was gonna be cooling down in here, but apparently not. Seems to have stalled. So why is that? Okay, so we're at 48 in here. You would think that this would, as the temperature cools, it would make more liquid, but I don't know. Maybe I just, I don't have enough liquid in there yet. That could be what it is. Um, 464 moles. I don't know. And then this thing is, you know, just doing its thing too, so. Maybe that's why, because this isn't really... Hmm. But I mean, it should be going off of this thing. So what is what is this thing set at? I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's head back out. I mean, it, it's dropping, right? It's just slowly dropping. And we got our power here. And then that was the waste tank, right? Yeah. So that'll be fine there. Um, yeah, I definitely need more of that stuff. Then we'll get some water. Probably should have filled up my oxygen tank too. But the idea here is to get that generator up and running eventually, because with the rocket being automated now, um, that's basically infinite ice, right? Which means infinite gases. Um, so I, I don't know. And then what I've got in here isn't really all that much. I'll turn that on so that'll start Setting all that up, good to go, all right. And then I guess as long as we're at it, we can fill this thing back up. Probably go up to 5,000 this time, go for a longer trip. It'll probably give me around 160 to 220 ice. 
Now those are incomplete stacks, right? So it might be an equivalent of 50 to 60 stacks. Maybe 40 to 60 stacks, somewhere in there. So it'll be fine. All right, passing 300 or 3,000. Okay, 4,000. And it's slowing down because I am running low on fuel. There we go, so there's our 5,000. We'll send that thing off. Be good to go. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll close this up. I suppose we can just leave that on. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, how are we doing down here? We can let that go for a little bit longer, I think. And then, eventually, I'm going to get to the point where I don't really need any ores. In fact, I'm probably at that point right now, so I can probably turn these off. It just got a lot quieter out here. <laughs> um, okay, so there's all of that. And that we're still going through there. Coal is still good. Um, okay. We'll kind of let that run the rest of the way through, and then we'll just shut that thing off completely. Um, all right, so we're at 21 stacks already. That's good. All right, and then what do I need in here? I need more Harveys, I think. Let's make a few more of those. Harvey. And then I also need a few more of the hydroponic whatever things. Hydroponic trays. There we go. Make a few of those. Two. Three. Four. Well, it's not that five. That should be good. Okay. Okay, so that one is already there. This one we can take out, take apart anyways. So that can go here. And then this we just need to tell to connect again. Good, all right. And I just need to put a Harvey there, put another Harvey over there. This will be a fern spot right here. And these are all soybeans. Okay, so this one should be just about seeded. Good. Um, we are at 56 kilopascals in here, which is good. Uh, we will throw that on there and yeah, we'll put that one there. Okay. And we'll put that there. All right. Um, here we go. And then with that there, we can now put this down. Okay, good to go. And that's got to change, so I'm gonna need some ducting, and that's gonna to have to come out as well. Um, okay. How are we doing here? Doing all right? All right. Yeah, so this is all well and good, I think. These are doing well. Um, okay. There we go. So that is the Harvey actually doing its thing. So it picked up the seeds first. And then it goes down and it starts picking the soybeans. So there's one. 
and then it'll wait for the next iteration to go through, and then it'll pick up the second one, and it'll go back and rest, and it'll wait for the next iteration, it'll go through, pick up the last one. Now, if there was something to plant, uh, it would then take that and then put it back down in here, but because there isn't, um, that's kind of what we got. So, uh, I'll throw this right there for now. Don't really need to be holding on to that. Um, probably have like way too many Harveys right now. So I'm also going to need uh, the ducting as well. So we'll grab that. And we have four Harveys. Okay, that should be good. Alright, we'll turn that off. Turn this off. Alright. So then we'll place this one. That is not the right way. Whoops. Okay. How exactly did that happen? There we go. Do another one here. Then we'll do another one here. Then we'll do another one here. Okay, so that's good there. Okay, so now this one has to change. Okay, so there's that junction box right there. This, I'm not gonna do anything beyond this. So that just has to go that way along with a straight to go that way. And that'll be good. Okay, and then we'll call this one Fern A. Top out again. Um, yeah, we can just put you right there. Take you out real quick. We can turn you off, I suppose. Uh, okay, so then we're going to import from here. Gonna edit. Okay. So now we're going to copy this. And I also have to rename the Harveys as well, otherwise this whole thing doesn't work. And then we have B and C and D. Confirm. Export. Good. There we go. Oh, I just didn't turn them on. I'm smart. Okay. I'm like, why aren't these things like, where's the happy face? Where's the happy smiley face? It's like, there's nothing planted there, dude. Um, okay, and then this one, right, needs to have this be connected. one over there good and these ones should already be connected yep. okay 
All green buttons, all green buttons, all green buttons. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Um, all right. So now I can go over here. Well, I don't actually need this thing anymore, so I can just get rid of it. Um, what is that? A drill? Yeah. There we go. So I don't need that anymore. So that can just get stored um, somewhere. I suppose I can just put it here for now. Uh, okay, so now I need to find the fern. Um, and I should probably take these soybeans out as well. Uh, so I can replant them. So there's that. 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 Good to go. And then um, the rest of this I will turn into oil. So we put that into there. Turn that on. Makes our lovely oil, which we then put into this part, so that way I can make the fries over here, and then we can the fries over here. All right, so I need soybean seeds. We there we go, fern seeds. Take those. Thank you. All right, so we will place one here and one here. The other one will save. Just in case those die for whatever reason, I will have a seed left over. All right. And then these are growing poorly towards seeding. What do you mean? Wheat. What does wheat need? Needs carbon dioxide, exhales oxygen. OK. Temperature has to be between 20 and 30, which it is. OK. At least 25 kPa prefers 51 so what's what's the deal here it's got everything it needs unless there's just no co2 in here and then this these could probably use a little charge all right and we got 46 moles I mean that's fine. And I'll probably need to do another IC setup over here to manage these. Um, so that way, I mean, I'm going to need filters in here so that way I can pull stuff out of here if it's too high. And then, yes, that's, that's just going to be a pain. I mean, I can put the filters up there, though, and just make, like, another upper level here, you know, just out of these two spots right here, and that should be fine, but... I don't know, man. Okay, so ferns are growing. That's good. These are doing whatever it is that they're doing. I don't know why it says that they're growing poorly. They should be fine, but it is what it is, right? All right, and then we'll get ourselves some more oxygen. Seeing as how we're about to run out. There we go. All right, and then we'll, because I'm going to need more. Yeah, I'm at 915 kilopascals. So yeah, we'll get all of these things going. So we had at least four volatiles come out of that, so that's good. Um, I would like to see how many stacks of stuff we got. And how are we doing here? Okay, so that's all out. We're still processing ore. Okay. We still have more stacks. Okay, that's fine. Um, we have 155. Okay. That's roughly what I guesstimated. All right, so we'll get those all sorted. Um, yeah. Well, let's see what we need for gases. 
Um, I mean, we could always use more nitrous oxide. Uh, it's kind of not really. Okay, so this is all. We need more CO2. Okay. And I can get that just from exhaust and pumping that back in here. Um, gas, fuel, whatever you want to call it. Still doing okay. We still need more volatiles, though. Nitrogen's looking all right, but I do want more nitrous, so I guess we can set that up. All right, and then this is oxide. Don't really care about oxide. And the nitrice, this will go directly into here. So we'll get four of those in here. And then that should be pumping a little bit more into here. Okay, looks like the pressure is high enough that it's starting to liquefy, so that's good. And then as it liquefies, it should go directly into here and increase however much we've got in here. Uh, we'll do another one, though. And actually, I can actually run a lot of these because I added that uh, tank up there. Um, so before, I was kind of limited by the volume within this to kind of determine what I can and can't do. Um, but now, don't really have to worry about it too much. That's water, ice. Do I need more water? I don't think I need more water. Get some more nitrice in there. Okay, so that should be another 200 volatiles going in there. Good. What are we doing? 1.22? Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, looks like that's doing all right. Um, should I do more? In here, 4.34 megapascals. I mean, we could. All right, now how are we doing in here? We're at five liters in here, good. All right, how are we doing in here? Okay, so the gas is liquefying, which is with the little four little drops there, is that's what that means. Um, Okay, and then in here, 212 moles, I mean, that's not terrible. Okay, let's go and replace our power. All right, good to go. Make some more cans. I should probably make some more cans. I think I need more cans. And I believe those can be made in here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. Thank you for the cans. All right. And I should have enough uh, oil to make a few cans of french fries as well. So those can go in there. OK, so we have 12 cooked tomatoes. So we can actually make tomato soup. Make a couple of those. And over here, we can make french fries, I believe. We can make six things of french fries, so that's good. Oh, that can't get out. That's no good. Um, I 
Wait, where did the other one go then? It must have come out somewhere, right? Did it get shot out somewhere? Did I lose an entire can of tomatoes? Okay, so if that's the case, then I probably want to make this thing go out a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal, so. All right, tomato soup. And this all has to come out. Okay, so that'll go up there. And that will go out here, and then this piece will go there. Although I do want to know, oh, what is this? Right, you can't just pull stuff out of there. That doesn't work. It'll turn it into this reagent mix stuff. OK, um, can I make some fries? I can. Hmm. So I have enough fries in here to make this, because I have three. But because it's not separated into two separate piles for some reason, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. All right, and then I'll throw this little reagent mix in with the other reagent stuff. Oh, we are full. Okay. If that's the case, then this can get shoved up here. Uh, right there. So that'll go right down in there. Okay, good to go. Oh, that's going to give me issues, isn't it? Um, hang on. This is going to be a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyways because I don't want this thing to get stuck. There we go. So this I need to take back out because I think that has uh, some of the advanced alloys in there. There we go. Okay, so now you and all of this can get shoved back in there. Okay, so that's all well and good. I need to set up like a separate centrifuge um, for the reagent mixes. Uh, so I can get, you know, everything that needs to be out of there, out of there. Okay, looks like nothing fell down here, amazingly. Um, I would prefer if you would let me jump here, sir. Why are you not letting me jump? There we go. Okay. Did anything else kind of spill out around here? If it did, I'm not going to be able to see it anyway, so it's fine. All right, so so, um, do I have another centrifuge stored in here? Like the basic centrifuge. Computer, yeah, I do, okay. So we'll take that. And then, um, yeah, so that can go there. I think I did lose the other tomato soup. Um, don't know where it went, but I think I lost it. All right, now for this centrifuge, where do I want to put it? I mean, I could put it in here, right? But I think I would want it to be out like this. Wait, wait. Where is the lever for this thing? I think the lever's on the front, isn't it? 
I don't know why I'm not seeing it in, on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Where's the lever? I think it's on front. Um, but yeah, this could be like a thing that I could set up kind of in here, maybe. Maybe back a little bit. I suppose it doesn't really matter where I put it, right? It says I'm going to need a wrench and steel sheets. Okay. Wrench, steel sheets. Okay, now I need a welding torch and steel sheets. All right. Kind of a good place to put it, right? Okay, so that can get stored there, and we can run this around to this side. So that'll start spinning up that, and then I can put this into there very, very sneakily. And if I'm correct, it should shoot it out on this side based on where this wall is, which I think is what I want. Do I have a door? I have a blast door. There we go. Regular door. Good. Um, and this I'm going to put in here, do a composite door, there we go, power on the inside, and that should work. Alright, then we can take this up and run this that way. Alright, and that can go that way, and that way, and that way. And then this thing needs what? Plastic. Welder. Welder and plastic. There we go. Now we need a crowbar and glass sheets. Crowbar, glass sheets. Good to go. All right. And that's already got power, so that's good. Um, that can go there. That can go there. That can go there. Good. All right. So that is how we will open that. Um, now I just need a wall. Okay, and then we're gonna need some of that and some of that. All right. Yeah. So the steel and the Constantin, Constantin. Um, provided there was enough for a full bar of it would have messed up my sorting system and it probably all would have gone into the uranium which, you know, easy enough to fix I suppose but at the same time it's like do I really want to? So doing it this way, I mean it does use up a little bit more power but this thing isn't going to be working all the time so I think, I think it'll be fine and this will just be for whatever I've got anyways so it's fine uh, okay, so that's that. Um, all right. So all of this stuff is doing good. We're at 61% power. How's our coal is still looking pretty good up there. Um, let's see, how's our gas looking or fuel? Uh, 
Uh, we are at two megapascals. Okay. Um, that's looking all right. We could probably use some more oxide. So let's get another four of those in here. There we go. That'll just kind of add in all of that. So that should be fine. Now, do I need to have these things on all the time? Uh, no. And it is draining my battery a lot to do so, but because I have basically an infinite supply of coal, um, I'm not really too worried about power anymore. So that's good. OK. Um, I suppose the next thing that I could potentially do is if I ran provided that is kept at you know proper temperature and whatever. Um, if I ran a pipe from inside of there with a you know passive vent over there and I ran it over into here with another passive vent, I could potentially share the atmosphere between here and there. And then whatever exhaust is coming out of here, and then I think that would also share temperature as well, which should be enough to get that thing running. So that could be a thing to do be really weird, but I could do it. Let's make a couple of these. All right, good to go. Then I'm going to need a bunch of uh, vents or sorry, pipes to go between them. Um, okay, so let's hop up in here. And the other thing that this allows me to do is to potentially um, take whatever exhaust is in here and it'll pump it into that room, right? But that's not a room that I breathe in anyways. So I could set up like a filter system in there. Um, so that way I can pull, you know, whatever atmosphere is in there and just kind of have it sort of go through like a little filter situation type thing. Um, so I think that would work. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? I'm going to need some insulated pipes to go between the two. Insulated pipe. Didn't I have like a bunch or did I use it all up? Wait, no, I have it in my inventory. I'm smart. It's right there. It's fine. I'll just let that make some stuff. Uh, okay, so let's hop in here and set up this other passive vent. Um, it's going to be out behind all of this, probably about right here. And then that can just get connected out like this. And that'll be on the outside there. So that'll be fine. Um, and then do I have, what paint do I have in there? I have green in there. I'm going to switch that out for brown. And then we can paint that because it's, it's just going to be like dirty atmosphere anyways. So it'll be fine. All right, so that's that. Good. Oh, and before I even connect those two, uh, I need to close that up. So glass, glass. I think that's all I need. Okay, so now we can take this and we're going to run it along the wall if I can. Good. So that will immediately start pressurizing inside of there. And it should hopefully get to a point. Oh, and I have no way of getting in there. That's not good. OK, so you can see the gas is moving over into there, which means that it's going into here. So that's good. And then because this is just a straight pipe between the two, um, they will equalize. 
<clears throat> and then I just need to figure out which one of these is the exhaust and which one is the fuel. So that's the output, that's the input. Okay, so this is fuel, this is exhaust. All right. And then exhaust has to be that like beigey, dark green color ish thing. So this will go directly across. Oh no, it probably won't go directly across. Um, because I don't want it to bind with that. So I could run this this way potentially. And basically I just have to get it over to here. So, and it's a good thing I made all this extra pipe because I'm going to need it. I don't know if I'm going to need this much, but you know. Something just break. I heard something just pop. Okay, we are ten degrees in here. Why? Okay, hang on. What's going on? Okay, that's fine. And we should be heating up slowly. Okay, good. Now, did I pop anything? I thought I heard something break. I mean, all of our values here are steady. So I don't think I broke anything there. Um, how are we doing here? That's fine. That's well with intolerances. Um, wow, we have 16 liters in there? Dude. Okay. But I swear, I heard something pop. Did you guys not hear something pop? I swear I heard something pop. Now I'm like freaking out a little bit. So I mean like our fuel line is fine. So we didn't pop that. That's fine too. It's dropping temperature, okay. This all seems to be fine. I mean if there was any burst pipe anywhere along here, like it would have shown up as like a massive drop in pressure. Um, on any of my readouts in here, but it didn't. So am, am I just am I just hearing things? I could be hearing things. Oh, it is warm in there. It is very warm in there. Did something here break? No, no. Hang on, let me get the wrench out. No, no. Nothing broke here. This is not broken either. Okay. This is still going through very, very slowly. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm just hearing things then. Because I mean, all of, we still have happy faces in there. We haven't lost any of our plants. Oh, what is that? Okay. We did burst the pipe. Okay, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. So leaving that on, bad idea. Okay, good to go. Um, how are our plants? Thriving, I guess? Okay, so that's good. We're at 44, 32, 23. That's actually not bad. Um, pressure is good. Okay, so... And that would have just been the mixing, or the mixed gases here that would have been popping out. And then this doesn't... 
uh, doesn't fill in very quickly. So, okay. So I think I think we're good then. But yeah, um, I told you I heard a pop. <laughs> so, uh, okay. How are we doing here? Tomatoes are thriving. Good. Uh, looks like we're out of potatoes. Okay. But yeah. Otherwise, I think we're I think we're okay. Luckily, it was just that one thing. But this is why I need to put that all up on like some IC coding. Okay, and then we're at 42%. Uh, there we go. Get some water, get some food. And we're actually well over an hour too, so we'll probably end up uh, closing out the episode soon. Gotta close. Okay, good to go. All right, so then the only thing that I've got to worry about now is just uh, getting the fuel hooked up. So let's get a whole lot of that going. Is that going to be... Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so there's that. And then I have to make that little khaki whatever thing come out this way too, because that's exhaust. And that's what is going to be coming out of that. So that'll be fine too. Um, I probably could just connect it, right? And just get it done. Um, and then how do we want to run this through here? We'll run it. Um, hmm. needs to go I just had it okay um, actually this one here can be a turn okay and finally So there's that. Good. And we need this uh, khaki color here. So let me just uh, swap that out for that. And then we'll get that over there and get that all painted up real quick. So that way I know what is what. Okay, so that should be good there. Okay, so now I just need to update the IC coding in here. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to do the hash with name stuff. Um, so that way I can just uh, 
call out the station batteries as hashes instead of having them actually connect into the Ds. Um, and then uh, I can connect the generator into one of the Ds instead and then control both this and that and then I'll have this probably run um, probably 20 to 90 percent uh, and then this one will run 15 to 85 and that way if I'm out of fuel this will kick in at uh, 15 so this will kick in first because it'll hit 20 percent before it hits 15 percent and then this will kick in bring it up to 85 so we're not using too much of our coal and then as far as the fuel goes I mean I don't I don't really care about the fuel so it's it'll be fine um, and then uh, I think I have all of the connections in here proper yeah so the output here is going over there, the control is going down there, which connects into this, which is the control for this one. Um, so yeah, I think everything is set up correctly. And then because this is sharing an atmosphere now with that room, um, we should be able to hopefully keep it somewhat cool in there. Because uh, as this heats up, it'll force its way you know, into here. And then that'll have more cool air coming in, so it'll just be like a little circulating type thing. Uh, so that should be fine. Um, but yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we covered a lot. Um, I don't know how much we actually got done, but we did cover a lot. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be it. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did, hope you'll join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one.